Hi everyone, it's great to see you. So we've all been enjoying Sol 2.0 and the latest versions of CSP and again the modders are outdoing themselves making a set of Corsa look absolutely fantastic. But I do know from some of the comments on my channel that some of you have had some problems with black screens and a black sky. So I'm going to show you in this video what's causing that and how to fix it. And also there is some performance increases in the latest version of Sol 2.0.2. So I'm going to show you side by side what those increases are on my rig. This will also show you why and how to upgrade your version of Sol. Also remember if you need any more guides or tutorials on a set of Corsa there's lots on the channel and if you're new here I'd love to have you on board. Okay then let's jump right in. Today we're also back at the Red Bull ring just to keep things consistent and we are driving this gorgeous LaFerrari in yellow, amazing. The first thing to tackle then is why some of you are getting black sky or some glitches in the sky. So this is all to do with the CSP version. So as you can see here, I'm running 1.71, which is the latest non-preview version. Now to replicate the issue that you're all having, I'm gonna go on to 0.1.46. So that's a really old version, and I'm gonna run a set of course now and just to show you what that looks like. So the first thing we can see here is the black sky. Now this is because this latest version of Sol needs at least 1.63 and recommended 1.68. Now I know that you guys have probably installed the later versions, but some of the config files are hanging around in your install, or there's been a glitch somewhere in the install of Sol or CSP. The best thing to do then is to actually uninstall Sol, make sure you're on the latest version of CSP, do a clean install of that, and then install the new version of Sol. Now there is a graphical fix on this new version of Sol that should fix any black sky, but remember guys, you need to be 1.63 or above, and I would absolutely recommend just to get the latest version, 1.71. Let's have a look then at the performance on Sol 2.0.1 before you upgrade to this latest version that came out a few days ago. So as you can see here, I'm running 70 frames a second at the moment, and I'm just gonna pull some standard settings up and just cycle through those settings. This will give you the start of the comparison when we install the new version of Sol, and I'm gonna walk you through, guys, how to install that new version in the right way. So if I click onto low settings here, and this, remember, is all the cloud settings on the Sol config, that's taking me well over 80 frames a second, which is pretty good. Default, default there, I'm around 60, or 70 frames, 72 frames per second. Let's try high next. High around 70 frames a second again, and then let's lastly put it on ultra, and this is the one I would normally run the game on. And you can see there we're around 64, 65 frames per second, which is what I would expect. So all I've done is just change these main config settings. All my other graphical settings are exactly the same. Just to give you a comparison as well on the post-processing filter, so I'm using Sol Extra here, which is the one that has all the bells and whistles on it. But if I go down to the standard Sol one, you'll see it'll bounce back up. And to be honest, on my rig, that's not too much different. It gives me a few frames per second. So I think it's fair to say on ultra settings with all of my standard graphical settings with Sol Extra on, I'm around 65 frames per second. What I'm going to show you now then is how to uninstall your current version of Sol and upgrade correctly to the new version of Sol. So the first thing just to mention is that make sure you're on 0.1.71, that is the latest version of CSP. You can check for updates here and you can see it will go green. And also if you click on any of these, as you probably know, it will upgrade to that version or downgrade to that version. So let's just make sure that everybody is on 1.71 or the latest version, the latest current version as always, the links to Sol and CSP are in the description below as well as any other mods that are in this video. But I've downloaded Sol 2.0.2 here and I just want to show you what's inside that because we need one file to uninstall your current version of Sol. So double clicking on the raw file then into the Sol file within that, it's actually this Sol uninstall.bat that we actually need. Now you can pull it out of the raw file but I would just extract the raw file and put it on your desktop. So that's what I'm going to do here. Once you have that folder on your desktop, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag and drop this Sol uninstall bat that's actually in this folder into our root directory of Assetto Corsa. So all I'm gonna do is go into the Sol 2.0.2 and I'm just gonna right click on this, if I can click on it properly, right click on that, just copy it 
and then I've actually got a link on my desktop here that takes me to the root of my Assetto Corsa directory. Now there are actually two ways of running this. You can run this file as a standard file or you can run it as administrator and I have got different outcomes depending on what I've done. Because I've got a current version of Sol on there at the moment, it's actually just going to replace the file and that's fine, just use the latest one. The way I would normally run these files is actually as an administrator. So if you just right click on there and click as run as administrator, that will come up on the screen and you say yes. Um, but as you can see here, that gives me an error message. So that's clearly how my computer is set up. So what I'm going to do is just run it normally. So if you double, just double click on that bat file, you can see there that it's actually done what it needed to do. It's taken the old files out and it's saying press any key to continue. So this is really important. So do try it both ways. Now that we've uninstalled the current version that you've had, we can now go into the folder that's got the new version of Sol 2.0.2 .2, and we can drag and drop those files in. So I'll show you how to do that now. So we go into the Sol 2.0.2, .2, go into mods, go into Sol 2.0.2 .2, and we're actually we're going to, just going to take the top four folders out of here and copy them into the root directory of a set of courses. And I know some of you guys have done this lots, but for those of you that haven't, that's why I'm just taking you through it step by step. Those files are copied then. So here's my root of a set of Corsa. And you can see I'm just going to right click in space and click on paste. Now that's going to copy some of the files over and there will be some files that it needs to replace. Just say yes, replace the files in the destination. At this point, I would definitely restart Content Manager just to make sure all those files have gone in correctly. Once you've done that, do double check that you've got the right version of CSP 1.71 there. And then just go down to the weather piece as well, the weather effects, and just check that you've got the right pieces clicked here. So you want Sol 2.0 there, and you also want Sol 2.0 there. Okay then, let's take a look at how this runs. To begin with then, the only things I have changed on here is made sure that I've reinstalled 1.71 CSP and I've got the newer version of Sol. And straight away there you can see that I'm over 100 frames per second. So that is an improvement before I've actually touched anything. But let's go through the settings just to double check what this is actually doing. I will just make sure here that I've got exactly the same setup that I had before. So I think that I had it on a um, few clouds before so that's what I'll put it back on. And I've tried to set the scene up exactly the same. To begin with, let's go through the different layers of cloud settings. So if we start on low here, so let's see where that takes us. That takes us about 90 frames a second, over 90 frames a second. Default, that balances out. Is it going to go over 80? Yes. So that's about 82, 83. High settings. High settings is around 75, 76. And ultra settings, which is the one I normally play the game on. That is 75, 76 frames per second. So that is 10 frames per second higher on Sol Extra just by uninstalling the current version of Sol and installing this new version. If I just put Sol standard PP filter on, that's going to take me around the same kind of level. I don't think it makes much difference because of the video card that I've got. Do check out as well the video I've got on the channel regarding Sol Cloud settings and how that can make a big performance dent depending on your CPU and GPU. So I'm running a 1080 Ti here, so the quality of clouds on my rig isn't going to make too much difference to my frames per second. Let's take these config settings off then and just do a quick cycle around the car to make sure the frames per second are pretty constant. I do like the Red Bull ring because it's got a very large view distance. Some tracks don't, but this one looks fantastic. And as you can see, it looks brilliant. It's sticking around 77 frames per second. So really good. And this update for me is going to make a bit of a difference on how I run a set of Corsa. So a big shout out to Peter for more great work on this version of Sol and to all the other modders that do great work on all of the Assetto Corsa mods. I have dropped Peter's Patreon link in the description below so do go there and support him. I know that he would be very appreciative of that and he can also answer questions on his Patreon site if you've got any too. Also, as you've noticed on this gameplay, I've not been running any of the rain previews. Remember guys, if you want external rain, you do need to have one of the preview builds and you get that from X4Fab's Patreon. And again, I've dropped that link in the description below. Do also check out my channel for those guides and tutorials on how to install external rain and all the other fantastic mods that are on a set of Corsa. 
thanks so much for watching then guys i hope that's helped let me know in the comments how you get on with this latest version of salt and if you do like the video it would be great if you clicked on that like button see you soon guys